back to the channel. Today we are making the Valentine's Day Fairy. She's got little hearts on her. So now my fairy is not just seasonal. She's I'm making her for holidays, I guess. Not all of them, but this will be the first one I made. Well, I don't know. The, the fall one was kind of Halloween, so. But we'll see. Anyway, let's go make some soap. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making the Valentine Fairy. And we're using Thousand Wishes fragrance from Aztec. It smells so good. Got a little piece of activated charcoal. My fragrance oil. Oof. I do not want to come out. <laughs> Ah, charcoal, charcoal. It's not even from the soap. <laughs> oh, Lord, that charcoal gets everywhere, I tell you. Okay. All right, so we are going to mix our oils and clay and everything. And then we'll be using a really red and bubblegum pink, or electric bubblegum, sorry. Okay. So let's get started. My oils are cold. <laughs> solution. It's false trace because it's the oils are cold, that's all. I do not know why my brother is being so loud out there. So sorry. Very good. All right. Dispersed. And there it's loosening up. Okay. Yeah, with pigments and um, well, right now I'm dealing with pigments, both of these. Electric bubble gum and really red are both pigments. It's best to predisperse them in oil. And then in here we're going to put, I don't know, titanium dioxide. 
Oh my gosh. That's not titanium dioxide. That is the fragrance oil. Uh, I was like, why? Why? Why is there no white in my... Alright. Let me get my stick blender over here. put in the fragrance oil. Ooh, more, t more activated charcoal. Dang, that charcoal gets everywhere. I've done two soaps with activated charcoal in this batch. Okay. Make sure. Gonna make sure you get all of the the oils from the side, the colored all the oils, all the batter from the side. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the fragrance oil in. A little bit in here. A little bit in here. Oops. This one gives us any trouble, but I don't think it does. I usually remember if one is bad. See how that batter loosened up? It's just when in, when the oils are cold, you know they're trying to solidify. That's you get false trace. So in the winter. Be very careful of that. Well, anytime, really. You can get false trace anytime, but for me, it happens more often in the winter. Okay. Yeah, it's well behaved for this well. All right. Now let's get this baby poured. I think I haven't decided if I was going to do a drop swirl. I think I might. I don't know. I think I'm going to do a hanger. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do a hanger. Just got to get... Just right. Oh, I'm not very talkative today, guys. I'm sorry. Actually, I hardly ever am lately. Right. 
it. Just a little bit more white and then we'll do the hanger. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing. Nice. Oh, pretty. I like the droppies. Look. Well, now we got a swirl. Woohoo! We'll see. Alright guys, and I'll bring you back when it's time to pipe. Hi hey guys, we're back to pipe. Ooh, the fairy tale. I know we're not. Oh lord. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back again to pipe the Valentine's Day fairy. I do not know what is with my soaps lately. Maybe I should not make soap in the winter. We are trying my patience. In the worst way. Oh, it is still very loose. I think we'll be able to get through it though. I do not know why I just did that like that, but okay. Okay, I got more soap up in here. I'm going to put the fairies and the hearts on. Okay. And then we're going to glitter her up. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Okay. Let's start. The end pieces. I don't know why I always put a fairy on the ends, but I do. I don't know if this is going to work because the soap underneath is solid. We're going to try. She has to sit down in there because if she doesn't, I can't package her. No. <laughs> These are drying me. See here. Okay, now I'm gonna put some hearts on. I'm not gonna put it on the end piece because they won't fit. I need my rag. <laughs> okay. Embeds. Gloves, not a great mix. These hearts are cold process. The fairy's not. I actually tried to make fairies cold process, but that mold does not like cold process. Like it just doesn't want to cooperate. Just one more here. Oh, leaning 
counter piece that we got going on. I'm going to try on the other side with the red hearts. Yeah, she does not like cooperating. Fairies never cooperate with me. I do not know why I continue to make it. And now it's not just a seasonal soap anymore. Now I make it for holidays. <laughs> so I make a lot of fairies. See how it goes here. Okay, that's it. Now some glitter. Um, this is the snowflake sparkle. mystic gold but I don't know how well it's going to work because it's a white base so I don't think you're going to get a true representation of just how pretty this glitter is I don't want to put some on there anyway this is an extra soaps mystic gold and on some bases, it makes, you can see gold. This one looks like it's silver on the white. Okay. And now I'll give you guys a close-up, and we'll put her to bed. the cutting of the of the Valentine's Day fairy. We'll see how we did here. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Really, really pretty. That's a beautiful sample. Yeah, you can barely see the heart I put in there. But it is in there. There is a heart there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up because it kind of blends in with the rest of the soap. These hearts are going to be cut some, I suspect. The cold process hides on top. Oh, she's so pretty, go get you some. And she smells like thousand wishes. She smells delightful. And she's super pretty. That's not going to work. <laughs> All right, let me flip it around. <laughs> When in doubt, flip it around. Get this end piece off. And see what we got going on here. Now I know you can't see the fairy because she's backwards to you. But, yeah, some of these hearts are going to have to be sacrificed. But the fairy, she may not be sacrificed. And my pretty fairy. And she's just smelling good. I am going to take off a piece of this because I think that might line me up better. Don't you think, honey? I really like the swirls in this. Do you like the swirls, honey? Yeah. Yeah. 
They make me happy. Okay. I'll turn her around so you can see her. She smells good. All right, guys. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect for any day. Just want to show some love. Yeah, I'm taking off another piece because I feel like this happens a lot in the fairy soaps. <laughs> then we end up with a whole lot of samples. But, you know. Ooh, this one came out almost completely whole. With the hearts intact. You can do say see that pink heart in the center. She's pretty. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And if you'd like to follow us on social media, those links are in the description box below. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Bath & Body products, those links are also in the description box below. She's very glittered up. And I really, really, really appreciate you watching this video. It humbles me that people would take time out of their day to watch our videos. I look at all these samples. I got a lot of samples going out to people. Only two will have a fairy. But there's a lot of fairy samples. She smells good. Right? Mm. Smells good. <laughs> and this will be our final cut. We're just trimming off the excess so she could be a normal size bar of soap. <laughs> normal size. My, my soap bars are enormous, by the way. But normal size for me. Oh, look, this one's got a hook. That's like soap on a rope, but with just a hook. <laughs> I can hang it on your shower. I wouldn't suggest that, actually. Bad idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.